everyone, today I'm gonna share with you guys how to read in French. Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Mbote na bande konyo stupo za wola nanga. Lelo na koko chibino ndengi ni totanga la France. Alors, is that for me, France mwoko ya nivo ya se makas. Guys, this course, you know, if you know French well, it's not really the right one for you, okay? So, um, yeah. So, In French, we have uh, 26 letters. You know, like in English, you know, we got uh, 26 letters. Same thing in French, okay? So that's what I end up putting like this. Alphabet français. Alphabet français a 28 lettres. Okay? So, in French, we have six vowels, but... If you study uh, pedagogy or uh, journalism, you're going to understand um, the sound way better because different uh, letters produce also different sound. Okay? Some of them is uh, silent, some of them heavy, some of them not that much heavy. Okay? So, the main reason I repeat the name alphabet like this because some people don't understand the pronoun like he or him or her some of them they don't understand so I'm gonna go with them step by step instead of repeating it uh, like this I put like this for them to understand alphabet français alphabet français a 28 lettres alphabet français a si voyelle alphabet français a 20 consons ok we come here the voyelle so we have a so this one we call this a ok a e o e so you see in english this one is A, E, I, O, U, and Y, right? Now, in French, completely different. It's A, it's a A, A, E, O. This one, when you read in, in African language, for example, in, if you live in Africa, let's say you live in, in Congo, this, this one, it sound U. Okay? This one also sound U. I'm going to give you an example. When you say Uganda, in French, you say Uganda. So, if you watch my other videos, uh, I explain to you guys about how to pronounce African name you're gonna understand watch that video you're gonna get it right okay for example the Belgium when you told them to write this name like this this is a Belgian person you're gonna write like this now the French they're gonna write like this. It's the same now, but the French person is gonna write it like this. Okay? This, most of the time, the French is using like this. This one, the Belgium. So you have to be careful. That's how you're gonna know when you see the, the most African, uh, like uh, when you read the African name. When you see the letter right like this, you're gonna know this one is the the French. They were colonized by the French. When you see their names like this, 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 the Belgium. I'm gonna give you another example. For example, Lou. You see? Lou Mu Mba. The French person gonna write like this. Okay. 
that's how the French person gonna write it okay so I don't want to get you guys confused just, just to show you the sound watch my the other video you're gonna understand so today what I want to show you guys we're gonna combine the vowel the voyelle and uh, the consonant together and then we're gonna produce type like a sound okay so we come here this one are the vowel in French if you don't know how to read them read my advice to you watch my the other video first the one uh, I explained to you guys about how to read in French read the, the alphabet watch that one first and then you come here okay we come here this one are the consonant we have the consonant okay so so I'm gonna go back a little bit I'm gonna read the alphabet okay alphabet français for you guys I'm gonna go back a little bit so just to make sure that you understand so I'm gonna go back okay so a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T I V W X Y Z One more time A B C D So in case you don't get it I'm gonna repeat it I'm gonna read it uh, a few times for you guys okay so in this case I'm not reading the vowel like whole num uh, the, the the letter the whole alphabet I'm gonna go back A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T I V W X Y Z Now I'm gonna read the vowel. I'm gonna read them for you guys. A, E, I, O, I, Y. Again. A, E, I, O, I, Y. Now. You see this okay don't get confused you see in English in English we read this is how I'm gonna read it in English a e i o u and this one y again in English not French in English a e i o u why this one in english now in french i'm gonna read a a e okay o e e crack now this one don't get yourself confused when we combine them you're gonna understand okay don't get confused now when we come here we have B C D I just mix the way they got mixed they're not really like you know you don't get yourself confused that's how I put them just like this these these one are the consonant they're not really like in order the way I put them follow no 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 just you know I'm just gonna read it for you for you guys B C, D, F. After F, we have G, uh, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, 
pay this one don't get confused qui r s t v w x w x z okay so now i'm gonna show you guys uh, how we combine the vowel and then voyelle et consonne okay so come here that's how i put them in order that way guys that way you guys gonna that way you guys gonna understand okay so come here okay so we're gonna mix voyelle plus uh, consonne okay So when we mix them together, we mix B plus A, we have BA. B, we mix it with A, it gives us B. We mix, we put B, and we mix with uh, E, it gives us B. Now, B. We combine it together with O, it gives us BO. BO, 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 BO. Like, you know, like when you write BONJOUR. Okay? B, we combine it together with this, it gives us BO. BO. BO, 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 BO. So I'm gonna write some name that way you guys can understand. When we mix this and this, it gives us B. So this one. And this is sound like the same. So, for example, let's say B B. Even though the B B has the accent here, but if you take a look, it's coming from here, from here. This one, B, we can write like, for example, let's say B. Mbu, bumbu, okay. So let's say you wanna write bon, bon, bonjour, bonjour. You can write like this, bon, jour, okay, okay. So next we combine C and this now when we combine c and a it gives us k now you see this k and this sound the same you just have to be careful when you write this and this sound the same uh, this when we combine these together it give us c so you see c this this, this, okay, and this, this one, okay, and this sound the same, the same. When you see this, we have another one. Uh, when you see like this, forget about this. When you're reading them, you don't read this. But the rest of them, some if you see like this too, for example, I'll just give you an example. When you see like this, right? It sound S. So all these sound the same. Sound the same. So be careful. Sometimes when you see, they put like this. Somebody gonna say, ça va, ça va, ça va. Okay, so, so it sound, sound like this. Sa, va. That's how it sound. sound. Sa va, sa va. So, so this, this because, because of this, it's making, making a sound s. s. Sa va, sa va. Okay, sa va. So don't get confused. So we have sa, uh, ka, se. So when we combine together, se. When we combine together, si. When we combine together, ko. When we combine together, you see this one? It's like, um, 
you know when you write uh, uh, Cuba okay so this one you combine sound C so for example when we combine this and this we can write C C C la C C C la C C C la okay so I'm just giving an example so C C C la okay just example now let's say you want to write uh, for example in French uh, when you say caca means in English is a shit okay sorry I just I want to show explain to you guys let's say you want to write coca cola co ca co la okay so you want to write like this co ca la so you know when you mix c and o it gives you co when you mix c and a it gives you ka so co ka c and o c and a l and a give you la so co ka co la co ka co la okay because I'm one, the main reason I want to give you guys an example like this, that way you know how to pronounce them. Okay? Go here. So, when you see like this, it sounds S. When you see like this, it sounds SA. When you see like, like this, it sounds KA. For example, KAKA. KAKA. KAKA is a shit in French. Uh, in English, is a shit. In French, it's KAKA. Okay? So that way you know, but when you write it, you have to be careful. You don't write like this. This one most of the times for sound, like for sound. But in African name, you're gonna see we write like this. Sometimes you're gonna see African name, maybe they write like this. Right? Kabula. So a French man is gonna write that name like this. Ka. Bu, la, because this, like I explained to you guys before, for us, this, it sound u, it sound u, okay. So be careful when you read African name, okay. But I'm gonna explain to you guys also how to read the African name on my the other course, okay. We come here. When they, when we combine this together, it gives us da. When we combine this together, it gives us de, like a preposition. When we combine this together, it gives us di. When we combine this together, it gives us do. It's like do re mi fa so do re mi do re mi. It gives us like that. You know, like if you're a musician, because I'm not a musician, I don't know how to sing. But people who study music, you're gonna see they're gonna sing do re mi. Do re mi, do re mi, do re mi. Okay? So, when, for example, you combine M plus this, it's gonna give us this. When you combine this plus A, it give us, like in English, me. But in French we say me do re mi fa so la si do something like that. But in this case, when we combine it, it gives us we 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 say me. Here we say me. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. When we combine d d plus uh, e, gonna give us d. When we combine d. Plus uh, O is give us Do. When we combine D plus uh, this, it gives us D, uh, D. Je veux du pain. Je veux du pain. Okay? De proposition. When we combine this and this, become like D. So this and this is almost sound the same. I'm talking about this one. Almost like sound the same. But be careful. Okay? We come here, voyelle, 
when we combine the voyel also together, we combine the vowel together themselves, produce different sound. Okay, so we're gonna come here. For example, when we combine this together, this when we combine, the sound is like a. Eh. So maison, it's right here. Maison, okay. Here we have parfait, parfait. Here we have le. Here we have fra uh, uh, fraise, okay. So we have maison, parfait. Parfait, les fraises. Okay. Here we have 13. Baleine, 16. Neige. So we look at here. This is where the place is sounding. The sound. So 13. 13. Baleine, 16. Neige, you know, like she says. If in case you have a problem to pronounce uh, uh, some of the English uh, uh, verb, she says. Just remind the letter says says. Okay. So again, treize. Baleine, seize. Neige. Okay. We come here. Loop. So this one. That's what I'm saying. So, loop, rouge, bougie, ibu, bu, bu, ibu. This is what we call. This is ibu. Okay. So in French we say ibu, ibu. So loop, rouge, bougie, and ibu. Okay. One more time. Loop, rouge, bougie, ibu. This one is a silent. I don't pronounce it. Okay? So I say ibu. Okay? You come here. Oh. This one sound like oh. Je vais au Canada. Sound like oh. Even when you see like this, don't panic. Forget about that. It's still sound oh. Okay? So, aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui. This one is silent. Show. Show, show, sauter, aubergine, aubergine, ok, aubergine, we come here, so we have, uh, uh, so we have, you see this one, O, ok, but it sound, when you see like this, this O, this O, Sound the same. Don't get confused. This one sound the same. This one sound the same. But it depends how you, how we, we, we um, it depends how, like in the sentence, when you put them in the sentence, it depends how you use, uh, 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 use them. Because sometimes this one sound a little bit different. But, for example, aux Etats-Unis. Be careful. Okay? Now, when you see this one, Okay, also sound the same, but in some situation when we link it, it's changed. Je vais aux Etats-Unis, but this one, bateau, cadeau, gâteau, chapeau, okay, bateau, uh, uh, pa uh, pardon, gâteau. So we have bateau, gâteau. Sorry, we have ba, to, ka, do, ga, to, sha, po. Again, we have ba, to, ka, do, ga, to, sha, po. So, you see here, ba, to. You see here? Ga. So here it sound ka like ka 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 ka. This one it sound like ka ka. So you gonna read this ga ga. This one ka. This one ga. This one. So 
we have ba we have ka we have ga okay so this one ba ka ga so ba do this one ka do this one ga do this one sha po so if you read them fast you can uh, get a little bit confused but the f those the b those letter the beginning the key so when i look at here i really know it's ba ba to when i i look at here i read is i really know it's ka 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 do when i look at here i know it's ga because what happened when i mix this plus this it give me ga it's like uh, for example the name galat okay so in this case i'm talking about ga to here sha po or sha po so ba to ka do ga to sha po we come here so here this sound we have biscuit new uh nuit with will biscuit nuit with will okay we come here we have miroir we look at here so if i go back a little bit in case you don't get it this is right here biscuit nuit with will okay and then we come here this is the one we're focusing on it so me voir voiture étoile roi roi sometimes you're gonna see like this roi okay we come here we focus on right here right here right here okay so fleur fleur bleu je neuf fleur bleu je neuf okay we come here we're gonna focus right here Sir, right here. Forget about this. Que, que. This one is silent. We don't pronounce it, even though it's there, but it's silent. So, sir, silent. We don't pronounce it. Okay, it's silent. Okay, so, sir, sir, sir. You see this one? It's kind of silent too. This and this silent, sir. So uh, here, sir. Here, care, care, care. It sound like this. It sound like that. And this one, it sound like this. Sir, sir. This one, care, care. Okay, care. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop here for today. So.